beautiful Sunday afternoon run. It's like 10 minutes to 12 p.m. Gotta go to work later in about four and a half hours. Fuck. And then I begin a journey tomorrow, a journey toward my future. Second try, maybe third, maybe fourth, I don't know. But I just know this time's a little different. Peace, we'll see. It's pretty hot. It's about 1.55 p.m. I have work at 4.30 Sunday. It was like a Monday. My landlords, which are my folks, they went on a vacation. They went to Yosemite National Park with my sisters and their boyfriends. My little brother, he just started coaching college football at a local community college in Southern California. East Los Angeles College, so. Hey bro, should have been a beer, man. I'm fucking with you guys. Yeah. Them guys are detailing in their car. His buddy had his hand up and he tossed him a, a water. Like, it should have been a beer. It's being funny. So I went for a run this morning. Tomorrow I begin a journey. I start college this time. It feels like the first time I'm gonna start college because this is the first time where I'm consciously desiring to get a degree. Passing by this house with two big ass German Shepherds. I don't really like German Shepherds anymore because they're the dogs that the SS and Gestapo used to use against the Jews. I just think that's kind of fucked up. I used to really like German Shepherds. I liked them because my biological father said it was his favorite dog. They were a pretty badass dog, though, you know? They are a pretty badass breed of dogs. So, isn't it weird, like the panther? There's this, there's this YouTube channel where I guess these crazy fuckers own a panther. They've domesticated a panther, but it's so fucking amazing. It's just like a extra large little cat, you know, with amazing ability to climb up a tree. Super strength. There's a homie selling flowers right here. Fucking caliente? Oh. There's a homie right here selling flowers. This fool's a super humble fucking. I don't know, I guess what you call him, a man from Mexico, sells flowers on the corner. Right there. But he's super fucking humble, man. Like you talk to him, he sounds super fucking sweet. Super cool guy. Sells flowers, fucking hot. Has a smile on his face, he's probably just happy to be here. Maybe he came from a part of Mexico that was fucking horrible. But, um, I have a headache. I went running about 11, like 10.45. I got done at 11.45, so. But I'd rather have one for a run today and tomorrow. I'm gonna start college tomorrow in the morning from eight to 10. I shouldn't say the time, right? So you, who knows? Sad, we're, we're humans, but I don't know, we have a fucking jealousy. It's weird, right? This animal might be jealous of that animal. Like in the fucking, you know, if you have two dogs, this dog's right here, he just looks across the yard. He's probably jealous of that other dog that gets to sleep with the, the fucking masters. No, whatever. But in human form, like we could hate somebody that lives on the other side of the world. People gotta be careful putting their life out there. Location, time and days, 
etc. But, um, I think I'm just tired, but uh, at my job, the air conditioner's on, it's pretty cool inside. It's just my journey there, and I don't have my handkerchief. I don't have my kerchief. A kerchief is pretty much, I don't know, like some sort of tissue. Not made of tissue, but it's some sort of material that you use as a rag to like wipe yourself if you sweat, blow your nose. And the longer word is called a handkerchief. We, we call it a handkerchief, but it's a handkerchief. I learned that from books, but. So I'd rather I went for a run today. I get off late today and hopefully get six hours of sleep. Probably not. Wake up, take the bus to my first day of college again. 32 years old, about to be 33. It's actually my birthday month. I have to work on my birthday. And then the next day, like if I really wanted a drink, I probably could drink and then go to work. Kind of feeling not hungover, but kind of hung a little bit, a little slow, whatever, mellow. I don't know. Um, yeah, I wanted to say, do you, do you ever feel like you're inadequate? Sometimes I feel inadequate. You know, I'm glad I went for my run because I probably would have been bothered kind of looked into the future this morning. I was just sitting there like, should I go for my run? Should I not go for my run? And then, and then I was like, wow. I pictured myself at work in a fucked up mood. Feeling like inadequate. <laughs> I said, no, I gotta go for my run. Get it done, you know? And I'm glad I did. Now I just gotta endure these few hours at work, you know? Being amongst my coworkers and amongst the strangers that come in and the randomness of people's different attitudes and makeup. And just hope that everybody comes in and has a good mood or whatever. And I just get through the little, what do they call them? Human interactions. But I'm more thinking like when you watch YouTube and you see all these like, these foodie people who whether they're like, you know, get a lot of followers from people watching them eat or the way they prepare their food, you know. But they're like good at cooking and they're good at editing videos, you know. It's like, what the fuck? These people are so creative. It seems so genius, right? But maybe they just know how to utilize the tools that are there. And, uh, or you see these people who travel to other countries and they have these little YouTube shorts or these TikToks where I show these people like these little videos of this fucking street vendor that cooks and prepares the food and looks delicious or all these, I guess, good looking, strong, I don't know, I don't know what you say, these uh, God-gifted fucking freaks of nature with their big physiques, you know, these have a bunch of followers or they're like fitness gurus. You know, I don't even bring up the women because even that pisses me off where it's like, you could tell this female is just naturally skinny, but all of a sudden she shows the world, oh, I fucking eat natural, I, she goes to get her shit from actual farms and drinks goat milk and goat butter and and these they're like oh I, I do intermittent intermittent fasting and it's like what the fuck you know or these people who are, are courageous enough to put themselves out there and do these funny interviews where they might have a microphone and interview like drunk people. Or even people who step on stage and perform, whether they're comedians or musicians. And like, man, what's wrong with me? You know? 
I'm not naturally attractive or I don't really maybe don't have the creative energy to care enough to oh fuck <laughs> you open high as fuck or you know I don't have the creative energy to learn how to like edit videos to make them seem better you know make it seem like a paradise type of life or to make my work seem like amazing compared to others but nonetheless I still do work you know I exercise I read books I was watching this fucking female she like is so into her t Toyota Tacoma she does like all these different small ass modifications to her Toyota Tacoma. She makes these videos it's like she makes herself seem like she's a genius, you know. But it's weird. But what about these men who actually own? Sh not not comparing her to men. I'm just saying. Like I thought, I, I thought about it. Well, she makes her short videos seem so ingenious. But what about like the actual mechanics who have the actually have these shops that modify things, you know? It's no different. She's just showing what she knows. And it's also amazing because she is a woman, you know? Like, these things can make you feel inadequate, you know, about yourself. Kind of like if you're an artist and you see some other artists far advanced, it just can make you not want to even do it. But that's if you're seeing it in a competitive way, you know? How about you just see it as like... You just gotta do it because you enjoy it. I'm kinda glad that song didn't last because I would've fucked in my video. But there's people outside this uh, bigger store. There's people out here that set this little... It's a little, little drive-through fucking... Super. Hello, bomb right there. It's a little drive-through uh, cafecito. And uh, the next to it, by the liquor store, and they're renovating a little meat market that used to be there. So the guy pitches a tent. I think he sells cheladas, to be honest with you. I never inquired, but in the mornings, on the weekend, they sell menudo bright and early. And he'll, he'll pitch his tent right there and have an ice chest there. I don't know, can't imagine what he sells. Uh, be sitting in this fucking sun for a while. But yeah, sh like sh shit like that can make you feel inadequate, you know? And gotta take it day by day you know i've been doing a good job reminding myself it's gonna be a little rough you know having to work take the bus go to school take the bus and still find a way to keep myself physically in shape to the level that i like to be at you know so i don't know i just kind of wanted to share that i was feeling a little inadequate compared to other people that just seem so creative seem so so much energetic to create, you know? More confident, more self-belief. And a lot of that self-belief comes from maybe having a video or having having gotten some acknowledgement from, you know, some content that they made. Anyway, it's fucking hot right here. I'm gonna try to sit right here in the shade. Oh 